So how do you handle a shirt order where the logo has to be above the pocket? And what if you have a very large order where each one of the logos has to be lined up a certain way? Well, there is a way that you can do it without hassle, without having to measure every single shirt. It's a quick little template that you can make. And if you stay tuned, we'll make one together. I have another placement guide tip that I ended up having to come up with um, out of frustration. This particular uh, placement guide is going to be for the pocket of a shirt. Now, I just received an order a couple of days ago for 40 polo shirts. And here is one of the shirts that I did so that the customer could see what his logo looked like on the shirt. Now I ended up having to tweak the logo a little bit, but I want to show you how it looked. Okay. So what I attempted to do with this particular shirt is line the logo up with the pocket and the way I was lining up the logo with the pocket um, was by measuring. All right. So I would take not this ruler, but I would take a ruler and I would measure a certain distance away from the top of the pocket, um, marked what I felt was the center line and put it on the machine and stitch it out. Well, to me, and it may not 100% look like it to you, but it does to me, it looked like it turned out crooked and that had me very very frustrated because i am particular about my presentation of my embroidery work this was not going to fly so before i did any other shirts now i did this shirt a few days ago and then um, the customer requested a tweak once i received his tweak and i fixed it I needed his approval to continue to do more shirts. Um, so while waiting on that approval, which it took a few days for me to get it, um, while waiting on that approval, I was racking my brain about how to keep this lined up so that every time I did a pocket, it would turn out fine. Okay. It would turn out where it was supposed to, because to me, I thought, okay, well maybe the pocket is crooked. And that's a possibility because there have been instances where uh, pockets on jackets or whatnot have been crooked. But in this instance, eh, I'm not sure. So I said, we're going to have to come up with a resolution. And today I actually did. And here is the shirt that I did today with my resolution. And whoops sorry i bumped the camera and then i got crazy people outside so the way we tweak the logo is we outline the four but that's not the point of this video the point of this video is to show how straight that logo is on the shirt pocket over the top of that pocket now that being the case how did i work this out let me show you so i'll move this out of the way and we will go back to our trusty cutting mat. Now these cutting mats you can get from Dollar Tree. I also sell cutting mats that are larger than the ones at Dollar Tree. Or if you can't find the ones at Dollar Tree on my website, thebabiesbooty.com, you can purchase mats and I will ship them to you. However, in this instance, let me show you what I did in order to make my new template. I took one of his shirts and laid it out where I could clearly see the pocket. Then I took the clear mat and laid it over the top of the pocket. Then I traced the pocket out with a 
marker. So I used Sharpie, as you can see here, the purple Sharpie. Well, actually that was pink. And I traced the entire pocket, all right? Once you trace the pocket, and you know what? I'll go ahead and make another one because you can always use an extra template to make sure that your items are lined up or to go ahead and line up the next shirt which is why I don't mind these mats because they're dirt cheap <laughs> so what I'm going whoops wrong side I want the thicker side we are going to trace this out And this time, I'm going to trace up the sides and not trace across the top of the pocket. So I'm going to go up here and extend up a good ways. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and trace the top of the pocket, but I'm going to use the thinner side or possibly you could use a different color um sharpie to get across the top of this and the reason being is you want a nice straight line that definitely goes along the top of that pocket so now we're going to cut out on the inside of this line okay so I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to go to the inside of this line. And this is what we are left with. And now let's go ahead and stick it in the pocket. And what you see now is your beginning rough draft of your pocket pal. Okay. Now, what I did was we marked the top of the pocket with the tracing of it but what i'm going to do is erase this line actually and we are going to trace the pocket with the plastic inside the pocket okay so i'm going to lay this along the top of the pocket and then we're going to trace out the line and I'm gonna make it a little heavier than I did the first time. And there you have your line of where your pocket should line up when you put the placement guide inside the pocket, all right? And what that'll do is help you make sure that this pocket is lined up the way it's supposed to be before you do um, your alignment for the embroidery. We also need to mark the center. So let's take this out of the pocket. And what we're going to do is mark the center. And this is 12 inches. So I'm going to put a mark here at the six inch line. It's hard to see from an angle. I'm going to use this other side because it's not going to show up well. All right. So that's my six inch mark. So that shows me the center of this pocket. Now, for my customer, I know that it's not going to be much more than uh, a quarter of an inch above the pocket. So what I'm going to do is find a quarter of an inch, which is here and see where that is and mark it on the line. Now, 
Let me use a different marker because it's hard to see that one. So now what I'm going to do is mark that quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. And what that allows me to do is make another line parallel to the first one. And there I have the line that I will use for the bottom of the design that's going to be embroidered on the shirt. Now, if your customer would prefer half an inch, well, then you come up. Sorry, let me use this one. It's easier to use. Uh, you come up and you would mark your half an inch on the sides. And you would do the same thing. You take your ruler and mark your half inch lines in the event that your customer would prefer that their design starts a half inch above the pocket. So now when you put this in the pocket, you would look at it, make sure that your pocket is lined up with the pocket line. And now when you take this to the embroidery machine, you can line this up with the line that corresponds with what your customer is looking for. So if it's quarter of an inch, I'll line the bottom of the embroidery design up with this bottom line. Let me show you what that looks like on the machine. We're at the machine. I'm going to show you here is the embroidery design here. In order to line this up with the pocket template, what I'm going to do is go here. So one, two, three buttons over is where you will find an alignment grid. Okay. So with the alignment grid, what I'm going to do is use this one to line up my pocket template. As I mentioned, we want the embroidery design to line up the bottom of the embroidery design. We want to line up here because this is as far down as we want the embroidery line this is as far down as we want the embroidery design to go is here to this line. So this is the bottom of the design, the center of it, and this is the top of the design. And that's the middle. Now I don't want to center my design by using the middle. I want to use the bottom because this is where I'm going to line it up. I need to be sure that my embroidery design doesn't come down any lower than this. Now when I check to be sure that it is um, lining up correctly all the way across the bottom, I'm gonna touch this button here to go all the way to the right side at the bottom, and then here to go all the way to the left side at the bottom to be sure that it's lined up. So let me show you what this looks like on the hoop. Not sure if you'll be able to see the laser light or not, and I hope that you can, but there's my laser light dot there. Now here is my shirt with the pocket template inside. And I'm going to make sure to slide this hoop inside the shirt and make sure to get the shirt underneath the embroidery arm so that I don't accidentally embroider the shirt through all the layers of the shirt, both layers of the shirt rather I should say. So I'm using a fast frame. All right. Now, as I mentioned, and I'm going to pull this down some so it'll be easier for you guys to see. Now, as I mentioned, we want to make sure that the pocket template is centered, is lined up with that very bottom line because that very bottom line 
represents the top of the pocket or at least it's touching the top of the pocket so now I don't see that bottom line and when I lean forward I can see and tell that it's lined up exactly to it so being that this is the alignment light and I already have it set remember to the center bottom of the design now what I'm going to do is move this down and I'm going to make sure that that is touching that that laser light is touching this bottom line which is what I want because that's where as far down as I want the embroidery design to go now I also mark the center which is right there so I'm going to nudge this over a little bit to be sure that it's centered in the center of the pocket now I want to make sure that the design is going to line up over here and over here at the bottom so I'm gonna go back to that screen and remember I pressed the right bottom and then the left bottom so watch as I press the bottom right and if you could see the laser light it followed the center of that line all the way across which is what we want that lets me know that my design is centered now we go all the way across the other way and we have it lined up there as well so if it's not which I to me is a little bit off so I'm going to pull the shirt down just a little bit on this side so that I can make sure that red dot is on that line and then I go back to the middle it's still lined up right is lined up so this is a perfect alignment for this embroidery design this is the bottom of it this is the center of the design and this is the top so this is how high up this particular logo is going to go on this shirt once you find that out you can take this out because you no longer need it and you don't want to embroider through it and you can proceed to embroider on your shirt and you know that it's going to be lined up perfectly over the top of that pocket having the pocket logo aligned is really important because especially if you're going to be doing multiple shirts and as i mentioned this was an order of 40 shirts that i have to do and make sure that that logo is lined up on the top of that pocket properly so it was really important for me to find a way to make sure that each and every shirt that i embroidered is lined up exactly the same across all of the shirts uniformity is what is the name of the embroidery game in continuing to have successful business so i've made my uh, pocket template i've made sure that the measurements is what it needs to be i also wrote on it that that's what this is for it's a pocket pal as i called it and i also noted that it's for a polo shirt because of course you have t-shirts that have pockets as well their pockets may not be quite as deep you never know so to be sure that i have the right template for the right pocket that's where this handy little guide comes into play and it'll make my job much easier i hope you enjoyed this little tip if you have any questions please feel free to drop them in the comment section below if you found the video helpful please give me a thumbs up that lets me know that i've done my job in teaching you something new something relevant that will help you out in your embroidery studio also please subscribe our channel we put out quite quality content we want to be sure that we help you guys out i respond to comments and we actually really do have a good time we're a close-knit community um, i also have a newsletter out so if you'd like to subscribe to our newsletter please um, check the link below and you can click to be a part of our newsletter where i send out um, updates through email i don't spam i actually don't send out an email not even once a week so um, i look forward to sending you out notifications if that's what you choose to do i appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and our goal is to be sure that you have happy embroidering so until next time we'll see you then Click here to subscribe to our channel. Click here 
to view other videos in our tutorial playlist. And click here for the next video that you should find helpful. Thank you.